Make sure your life jacket is secure and start swimming to shore because you're never going to want to leave dry land again. The ocean is way deeper than you think. But before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our dives into the deep, dark cave systems of the oceans or your mom. Five out of five briny old sea captains agree, subscribing to this channel gives them a sense of porpoise. Space exploration captures our imagination. We wonder what's really out there beyond the stars. But what about what's in our own backyard? Nearly every new journey to the depths of the ocean leads to a new discovery or the unveiling of a new species. 71% of our planet is covered in water, and 95% of the ocean's floor remains a complete mystery due to the harsh, inhospitable conditions. What's down there? Something from the abyss, that old movie that everyone watching is too young to have seen? Or maybe something from underwater? That Kristen Stewart movie that bombed that also no one has seen. Let's find out as the ocean is way deeper than you think. Humans have only gone 332.35 meters by themselves. Scuba divers generally only dive to a distance of 40 meters deep. This is to keep things nice and safe and avoid health risks such as decompression sickness, also known as the bend, and nitrogen narcosis. The deeper you go underwater, the more pressure there is, which eventually can literally crush you, and if it changes too rapidly, can lead to bubbles in the blood. Incredibly, a man named Herbert Nischt set a free diving world record by diving to a depth of 214 meters in one breath. Even more mind-blowing, a man in scuba gear and fully capable of breathing was only able to go a little over 100 meters more than that to set the scuba world record at 332.35 meters. That is longer than the height of the Eiffel Tower at 301 meters. Even with breathing capabilities, that's the deepest a human being is able to go into the ocean outside of a vessel and come back up alive. 535 meters down. At 535 meters down, we start to lose the light of the sun and darkness envelops us. Between here and our human record, we've also passed the Empire State Building, which would reach down to 443 meters. A little deeper than that, at 500 meters, is the maximum dive depth of blue whales, the largest mammals on the planet besides your mom. 500 meters is also the absolute depth limit of the U.S. Seawolf-class nuclear submarine. Any deeper than that and the hull would begin to crush under sea pressure, and just a smidgen below that, at 535 meters is the maximum dive depth of the Emperor Penguins. So if you want to take out some blue whale and nuclear subs, start training attack penguins. The water pressure at this depth is roughly 800 pounds per square inch, or the equivalent of a grizzly bear standing on a postage stamp. 1,000 meters, the scary zone. At 1,000 meters, we enter the scary zone or the midnight zone if you're a dorky scientist. This is where sunlight can no longer reach and we are in permanent darkness. But life still flourishes here. Along the way, at 830 meters, we pass the length of the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building. Many of the creatures at this depth and below are bioluminescent, meaning they glow or they have glowing body parts that attract other animals so they can eat them. The pressure here is roughly equivalent to if you were standing on Venus. This is also where the giant squid roams. The giant squid's name is a metaphor, meaning it is a squid that is a giant. 2,000 meters, terrifying life. When we reach a depth of 2,000 meters under the sea, we're now deeper than the deepest point of the Grand Canyon, 1,828 meters. Here, we are in the territory of monstrous creatures like the black dragonfish and the Patagonian toothfish. The toothfish can swim a little deeper to meet the sperm whale at its maximum dive depth of 2,250, and the squid even bigger than the giant squid, the colossal squid. These squids grow up to 14 meters long and weigh half a ton, with eyes the size of a human head. They can have sharp claw-like protrusions on their tentacles, which they use to do battle with sperm whales and feast on toothfish. It's thought that giant and colossal squid sightings may have led to the tales of sea monsters in ancient history. 
Scientists weren't even aware of their existence until the mid-1920s when they began to discover colossal squid remnants in the bellies of sperm whales and pieced that together with the tentacle injuries on later washed-up sperm whale corpses. 4,000 meters, the abyss. Now we've entered the abyssal zone. Oh, and at 3,800 meters, we pass the wreckage of the Titanic and that naked drawing Leo made of Kate. Down around here, the pressure is at 11,000 pounds per square inch. The average depth of the ocean has been theorized to be around this point, somewhere between 3,682 and 4,267 meters. This is about two and a half miles straight down. This is also where creeps like the anglerfish, fangtooth, and viperfish live. A little below that is the wreck of the battleship Bismarck, sunk in World War II, resting at 4,791 meters. The Hell Zone But we can still go deeper. Now there is the Hadal Zone, named after the Greek underworld Hades, that became synonymous with hell. The Hadal Zone encompasses anything ranging from 6,000 to 11,000 meters deep. This is the zone where we would find the peak of an upside-down Mount Everest at 8,850 meters. Much of this zone is made up of trenches, with trenches in those trenches. Underwater volcanoes and shifting tectonic plates have made an unpredictable and mostly unknown and unmapped ocean floor. The Mariana Trench is located in the western Pacific Ocean, east of the Mariana Islands, and is the deepest oceanic trench on Earth. The trench sits like a crescent-shaped tent in the floor of the Pacific Ocean, extending over 1,500 meters long with an average width around 43 miles and a depth of almost 7 miles. Toward the southern end of the Mariana Trench lies the Challenger Deep, the deepest part of the trench, at 10,994 meters. People have been down there. Believe it or not, humans have been to the Hadal Zone. In 2012, director James Cameron launched his Deep Sea Challenger mission and achieved the depth of 10,898 meters. But he did not break the record. In 1960, Don Walsh and Jacques Picard reached 10,916 meters. It took them over five hours to reach that depth, and they had to turn back when the water pressure caused one of their windows to crack. And then, in 2019, Victor Vescovo finally beat the record and descended 10,927 meters all the way to the bottom of Challenger Deep, the planet's deepest point at the southern end of the Mariana Trench. The pressure at that depth is about 16,000 pounds per square inch, over a thousand times more than the pressure at sea level. There is life down there. Even at that depth and water pressure, life thrives. Though most people are more familiar with those ugly weirdos up a little higher, the Hadal Zone still teems with creatures. Many of them feed on remnants of the flesh from other fish's prey that floats down to them at a speed of 100 meters a day. Grenadier, or rat tail fish, is the most common deep sea fish and has evolved to not need a sense of vision. It hunts by sensing movement and vibrations in the water. The snailfish has the most extreme depth range in the ocean, going from a few meters from the surface down to 8,000 meters regularly. Beyond 8,500 meters, we don't find many fish as their cells begin to break down. Below that level are only invertebrates, like deep sea prawns and amphipods. They are typically less than a centimeter long. However, the amphipods that live in the Hadal Zone are 20 times larger up to 30 centimeters, and can make its own suit of aluminum armor to protect itself from the pressure. These mysterious creatures are drawn to the bursts of warmth and light that emerge from the volcano on the ocean floor in the midst of the dark, freezing atmosphere. They congregate and live at the mouth of these active volcanoes. There's plastic down there. One common surprise, which we guess would mean it's no longer a surprise now if it's common, on nearly every deep dive mission of the last few decades is the crew's report finding plastic on their way to the bottom of the ocean. Located in the Northwest Pacific Ocean, the Kuril Kamchatka Trench has a depth of 10,500 meters and is a hotbed of small crustaceans and seabed volcanic activity. In a 2014 dive study, German scientists found evidence of plastic debris including fishing nets, packaging, and microplastics on the trench's floor. We don't know what's down there. While hearing what we know about how deep the ocean is can be eye-opening, 
It's realizing how much we don't know that is truly terrifying. All of this information comes with over 80% of the world's oceans remaining unexplored. There may be deeper points out there. The third deepest point on Earth, the Serena Deep, was only discovered in 1997. And there are sure to be more wild sea creatures waiting to be found. Not just tiny ones either. The big fin squid was not observed and proven to exist until 2001. What lurks out there in the icy blackness waiting for us to develop the technology and willpower to withstand the pressure to pursue it?